Um, it's such a great, uh, great evening to see us all here. I know we're all freezing cold, but uh, I think we can all uh, at least get warmed up later on with a nice cup of tea. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Janet Horner, um, representing the Lord Mayor's Office this evening, for coming along uh, and joining us this evening. The Lord Mayor's Office have uh, consistently supported our ceremony over the past 14 years, and uh, I must take this opportunity to thank them also for recently uh, lighting up the mansion house in purple to mark Intersex Day of Solidarity. It was a very proud moment for our very small intersex community here in Ireland, um, but it was an amazing and wonderful sight. So thank you for coming on this evening and thank you for your support and continued support. And also I must thank the uh, Unitarian Church for their continued love and support, but most of all for thank Minister uh, Bridget Spain for her amazing care of our community and those of you who have been coming here for the last uh, 14 years you will know uh, I think Bridget has had a love of our community for all that time um, and we'd like to give you a small token of our esteem. You're very kind. <laughs> Shouldn't you do these things? Oh sure. It's really yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Over the past 13 years, uh, I have 14 years, sorry, I've stood here and consistently uh, tried to be positive, uh, to look to the bright future our community has. Over the past 14 years, I've implored you all first to support and love one another. I told you stories of hope, of love and of belief, a belief in a community which I've seen blossoming for nearly 26 years. But yet, we gather here tonight again to reflect upon our lives and those we have lost over the past 12 months. Lives that were taken in violent circumstances. 330 trans and gender diverse lights were put in this year. In places like Brazil, 132, Mexico, 65, USA, 32, and many, many, many more places around the world, our community is not safe. And let's remember those people this evening and let's remember that they are of all ages. And let's remember Kate McKelly from Brazil, who was only 14 years of age. Let's remember them all. They deserve better. And while we do not have any record of violent deaths here in Ireland, we must not also forget those of us for whom life just got too tough for not being treated, treated equally or treated with dignity, or treated with respect. In a time when our identities are still under attack, in a time when our right to exist is being questioned, in a time when we are not provided appropriate health care, in a time when we, there are waiting lists are getting longer, in a time when to some we are still considered disordered, in a time when young children are forced to live lives they do not wish for, in time when our siblings around the world are dying, in a time when we refuse to be who we are, we must hold the higher ground. We must hold the higher ground. There is no other side to the story. There is no debate. There is no war, because we will not engage with you in any war. We are here, we are visible. We have fought to be visible and we deserve to be visible. But we must continue to build our defenses. We must continue to build our supports. And we must never take our focus of what is true, and that is respect and human dignity. We must look forward, sorry, we must look towards our families, our friends, and not let these narratives take hold. We must continue to educate and empower our allies to speak up for us. Remember the words of Martin Neymar, first they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. But then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. We need to be resilient, we need to be strong, we need to be focused, and most of all, we need to be together. And we must hold the higher ground. <coughs> As we've seen in the UK and in the US, we will not fight, win a fight that is conducted in the media. We will not persuade our detractors of our rights. 
We will not win their so-called war because we will not engage in it. But we must not lose those who can and will speak up for us. We must hold the higher ground. And as Ollie and Linda said, we must have hope. A hope of a brighter future. A hope of a safe and secure and fulfilling life for all of our community, wherever they live throughout this world. And if they come for us, there will be people who will speak up for us. We will hold the higher ground. Thank you.